sessions are killing me. Um, the plan is I get to the gym for when it opens at 6.30. Uh, I train till 7.30 and then I get back so that Ina can go and do her thing ready for 8 o'clock. Um, but getting up this early just means that I just forget shit. Um, so today is legs day and if there's one session that I always like to be wearing my trainers it's on legs day. When I'm pushing through my feet, leg press, things like that, I, ideally I want to be wearing trainers, but I didn't bring them. So today, this is the situation. Right here, these are my leg day footwear for today's session. Let's see how we get on. Into the darkness. First one by the looks of it. Staff just got here. Yes. Empty gym. All to myself.
All right, so I just wrapped up my leg session. Um, I am actually haven't showered yet. Malia's still asleep, so I'm trying to get this filmed before she wakes up, so fingers crossed. So back injuries. Back problems are becoming more and more common in the general population now. And that's through a mixture of things, whether it be from the fact that people spend more time sitting, um, or just the fact that people are not looking after themselves in the right way. They're not prioritizing their overall physical health. They're more prioritizing a certain look that they're trying to achieve. And the first thing that a lot of people do when they start to hurt is to just stop. They stop training, especially if you go and see your GP. The GP is going to say, okay, here, take this and stop exercising. That's probably the worst thing that you can do. Um, in an acute sense, when, it first, when you first get an injury of any kind, yes, there is a certain period of time where it's probably a good idea to rest up. But generally speaking, if you've got a chronic back issue, if you've got something that's been playing up for a while, you need to move and you need to fix that issue. Resting it is not gonna fix that issue. There are first two points that you need to focus on. The first point is what exercises or movements or positions aggravate the issue? If generally speaking, when you go to the gym, you can do 90% of a workout, but there's one thing that keeps aggravating your back, it's probably a good idea to stop doing that particular thing until you've figured out what it is that's actually causing it. So for me, that exercise is actually squats. For years, I've kind of had an on-off back problem and I can categorically say that every time that I start trying to get back into squatting, it all goes wrong. The pressure through the spine, the position, the fact that my body is not actually working the way it should be, is meaning that when I squat, it's actually aggravating the issue. That's not to say that squats are bad. What they're saying is there's a problem with me that needs addressing before I can begin to squat. Once we take away squats, there's a ton of other exercises that I can do that don't aggravate my back. So that's point one. Find out what it is that aggravates and remove it. Point two, and probably the most important, and the thing that a lot of people aren't doing, is to find the root cause of the issue and deal with it. So yes, that means going to a physio, spending some money, uh, before we came away to Thailand, I spent a couple of months seeing a physio twice a week. I went in there and I said, right, I want to find out what it is that's causing this problem and I want to put together an action plan to fix it that I can take away and work on myself. So once I actually spent some time, spent a couple of months with the physio and discovered what the issue was, now I can actually put together an action plan to fix that issue, which involves simply 10 to 15 minutes before each session in the gym, um, just doing a little bit of mobility and a little bit of activation. That 10 to 15 minutes doesn't actually have to be done in the gym. I am just doing it in the gym because I know 100% when I go to the gym, I'm there, I can focus and I can just get it done. Even though on a daily basis, I struggle with my back, I manage to get through a pretty decent workout without cre creating myself any pain or discomfort. You don't get any points for being a fucking hero. Okay, if something is aggravating your back, it needs to go for now. So squats for me is completely out of the question. However, something like a hack squat, I'm fine with that. The back is supported. It's at an angle that doesn't put too much pressure through my back. And it means that I can still get some, get some good weight through my legs. The same with leg press, as long as I don't overload the weight. It's not about how much weight you can physically lift, unless you're a power lifter or a weight lifter, then it is. For anybody that's trying to develop a physique, it's about how much weight can you lift with the right amount of control to actually develop the muscle. Just throwing a weight up is not gonna have the same effect as putting a solid load through a muscle and controlling it. So guys, if you managed to take something away from this video, great, that's exactly why I'm doing it. Hopefully you liked it. If you do like it, please give it a thumbs up down below. Um, 
please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more. It's not just about training, we're gonna be talking about traveling and things as well, and doing it all with a baby. But yeah, if you like what you see, great, keep coming back, and I'll see you next time. Oh,